Just making sure you're awake. Ah, Bitter Springs. Man, we haven't been here since we killed Boone. Since Boone was killed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we'll use the passive form of that sentence. Deny ourselves of culpability. We didn't kill Boone. No, of course not. I never killed Boone. I don't know what. I don't know what. Are you picking your nose? Are you doing it through your face wrap? I'm impressed, but also disgusted. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you a fun story about gross stuff in general. Uh, the thing that got me to quit smoking. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, it was a dog. Why are you guys shooting up the dogs? Probably a legion mongrel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, it was a legion mongrel that was still here for some reason. It was a lollygag, and it was late to the party. Oh, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I made it in time for the pup. Yeah, oh, I'm 60 episodes late. <laughs> the thing that finally got me to quit smoking was I got up one morning, and I was taking a shower. I was like, oh, man, I feel congested. So I blew my nose, and then I started coughing. And I coughed up the size of a small grape. Just a chunk of bloody mucus. Uh, what color was it? It was bloody mucus! So dark red? So dark red and like a sickly yellowy green color. <laughs> she just walked away. She couldn't even handle it. <laughs> and it just came out of my mouth. And I'm just like, you know, I probably should quit smoking. <laughs> yeah. So I, I picked up using an e-cigarette instead of actually smoking. Which, uh, I'm sure it has its own health drawbacks. But Yeah, but it's definitely better than using actual cigarettes. Yeah, probably a step up. Yeah. I've been trying to stop drinking Nuka-Cola for the last 12 years. It's really hard. I love Nuka-Cola. I just love sugar. And sugar substitutes. That reminds me of that one time we were doing that pipeline job. And we said we'd cross rivers, streams, creeks, and cricks. And tributaries. Don't forget tributaries. <laughs> All right. Oh, good times. I guess you kind of had to be there. <laughs> My favorite part about that job was how I always suffered from pollen going in my face. I love wheat dust. Uh-oh. Wow. Hey, it's you. What are you doing in Bitter Springs? He's shaking his head like, oh, dear God. <laughs> You've heard the stories of how we've been helping out the NCR, have yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, he's just like, no, I'm not letting this guy help. <laughs> he's very tall. I just realized that. <laughs> He's actually much taller than you are. Well, I'm hunched over because this eight-pound weapon is so heavy. Never expected someone as famous as you to turn up here. Why not? We show up everywhere else. We're not wanted. Uh, are you aware your flag is upside down? Of course I'm aware. It's a distress call. This camp is in bad shape, and if we don't get relief soon, I don't know what will happen. At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. We need more troops, fresh supplies, and medical relief. As if that wasn't enough, someone's been coming out of the mountains at night, stealing supplies and picking off my people. That's a bunch of problems. What's this about someone killing refugees? It started about six months ago. At first it was just supplies going missing. We figured it was refugees. Then people started dying. Always a single bullet to the head. Always from extreme range. We've lost eight refugees and three soldiers to this son of a bitch. Wait, is it Boone? We know he must be hiding out in one of the caves up in the mountains. I think but it's I don't Boone. have enough men to send out looking for him. Somehow he didn't die. And he's taking his revenge on the people that live in Bitter Springs. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and yet I can't help but agree that's the first thing my mind went to when she said that. We'll take care of him, and then I'll come back and see if there's anything else if I don't die. Good luck. I'll probably die. Let's see if we can find some evidence of our assassin. I bet it's up there. That's where I would shoot from. You know, that wouldn't be a bad spot, but you'd be silhouetting yourself against the night sky. Not if you lay down. In the prone position? And then shoot off the top of that. You know what the opposite of prone is? I don't know, not prone? Supine! Antipine. Antipine. Oh, laying on your back. Yeah, that's exactly it. What's in this cave, I wonder? Uh, ants! Are you the ones shooting at the people in the NCR tents? Stop it! Ah, shit. I don't think ants are capable of shooting. Ah, uh, who knows what they're capable of. Wow, it's kind of radioactive in here. Oh, a radioactive supply cache! Those supplies we could put to good use if they weren't so radioactive. Or we could put them to use anyway. Well, the first cave was a bust, but according to the rules of three, the second one is definitely going to have some stuff for us. I don't think the rules of three apply to random scenarios like caves. That's the rule of thirds, and that's for photography. No, I'm talking about the rules of comedy. Oh. Hey, I think I see what caused that. But they're friendly. No need to get hostile. Good morning, my friends. How are you today? Yeah, the friendly little dogs crossed with snakes. I always thought they were kind of cute. 
when they're not tearing your face off, sure. Yeah, I kind of want one as a pet, you know? <laughs> I certainly don't. I don't know if Night Stalker creatures lay eggs. I think they do. I think you can find Night Stalker eggs. Seems weird. They're mammalian. Why would they lay eggs? Well, the platypus lays eggs. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> if we're comparing things to the platypus in terms of normalcy, I think maybe we've gone too far. Hey, hey! I found another supply cache! And some grenades. But you didn't find our attacker, so we'll have to move on. <laughs> Well, no one said the Great Khans were good artists. Take that, Dia de los Muertos! No, Mirin Cones! Ah, I'm so mad that the artist forgot the rule of eight heads when he was drawing my proportions. I'm gonna cut your head off, guy holding three apples. Oh no, my apples! I dropped them! <laughs> out of my neck! I'll teach you to wear a tuxedo to my wife's funeral. It's like, no, but it's in good taste, I assure you! <laughs> Every time he killed an NCR soldier, he drew the same picture. Why wouldn't you draw that once and just have a tally marker next to it? That's actually probably why he didn't kill as many. Oh, yeah, nope. Must not, have been the Casador. Not doing that. Not doing that. <laughs> Eat shit and die, cocksuckers. <laughs> nice work, Rusty. Doing more than Mike ever did. Well, I'll be honest, not doing much of anything right now. You're playing cards with Vincent again, aren't you? Yeah, well, this is the rematch. What color deck are you playing? What color deck? Oh, I thought you were playing Magic. No, no, we're not playing Magic the Gathering, we're playing Caravan. The best game ever invented. Uh-huh. Just kidding, we're playing Euchre. Ugh, oh, I hate Euchre. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to play with only two people. Is this it? I think this might be it. What, what, oh, you found a cave? I found a cave. There's a guy, there's a guy right there. Who are you? How did you find this place? Are you the one that's been raiding the refugee camp at Bitter Springs? Whoa, 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 let's not be rude here. He asked you a question. Although, that was pretty rude to not introduce yourself first. But, we'll gloss over his rudeness and... As Supplant it with our rudeness. Refugee camp? Is that what they're calling it? Good old NCR. They can whitewash anything. Let me tell you something. That refugee camp, it's built on the blood and tears of my people. Nobody likes to talk about it, but I remember. Are you kidding? Boone wouldn't shut up about it. Also, you need to have breaks in between your sentences. That's what the periods are for. Keep deluding yourself if you want. I've seen the NCR's true face. You gotta leave the refugees alone. They didn't do nothing to you. Then you'll have to kill me. My vengeance will not be stayed. I guess Let's we'll... not be hasty. I'll come back in a little bit. Why should I let you leave? You could lead the NCR right to me. I should kill you now. Uh, well, that's been solved. If you ask me, his argument wasn't very sound. He, in fact, I don't think he had a leg to stand on. Oh! This guy's been picking people off at long range? With what? With his weapon, of course. With his weapon that's a 40 millimeter grenade launcher? Maybe this isn't the guy. Maybe this guy wasn't our culprit. Oh, this is what he was using. Oh, he was using this hunting rifle. You're back. Any progress on saving our skins? Yes, we have found the guy who was attacking the camp, and he won't be a problem anymore. You did? Who was it? Any information you could give me would be a big help for my reports. If we let her know that it was the Great Khan, that might fuel more hatred between the two groups. You better choose a different dialogue option. I don't have a different dialogue option. Then you better select the only dialogue option. It was a Great Khan! Really? Well, this canyon used to be a great con stronghold. I suppose that explains why he was able to evade us so easily. Any idea why he would be out here getting revenge instead of quietly being led away in the Trail of Tears? That doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> I'm glad it's taken care of, but still. I wish it could have been resolved without violence. There's too much bad blood there already. And there's a little more now. How can I help with medical supplies? You'll want to talk to Lieutenant Markland about that. He's our medical officer. He should be down at the medical tent now. Speaking of which, I need to go get deradiated. You weren't that badly irradiated, just a couple of ants. My magical compass is saying that I'm irradiated, so I gotta take care of it. Is your magical compass also a magical Geiger counter? Yes. Yeah? What is it? Uh, hello, Mr. Giant Man. I need you to heal my radiation. Well, one thing we do have is a good supply of Rataway. Sure, I can help you with that. Cool, gimme. Just stand still and try to ignore the tingling. Didn't we find like a thousand rat away inside of that cave when we were doing Russell's quest? We probably did, but whatever. Captain Giles said that I need to talk to you about something... What was it? Food? Medical aid. You're hungry? 
medicine. You need a haircut. You definitely need a haircut because that brush cut looks stupid. <laughs> hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Major psycho what now? I'm an army field medic. I can treat bullet wounds, shrapnel, trench foot, no problem. But this, the kids and the psychological trauma and all the rest, is out of my league. You just list off the only things that can possibly be wrong for somebody. I'll look out for books like what you see it. Thank you. Any help you can give would be a godsend. You know, I actually checked out a couple of books from the Novak Library recently. Oh, you did? Yes, and they seem to be on the exact subject matter he's talking about. I found those books what you wanted. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. Yeah, just remember to bring them back to the Novak Library when you're done reading them. Otherwise, they'll charge Mike like a whole quarter of a bottle cap. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot, I assure you. It <laughs> adds up over time. It doesn't add up. Besides, just go make a new library card under a different name. Go back. I and... live in Novak! They know my face! Oh, now just move somewhere else. But my bungalow is so nice! <laughs> Stay safe out there. Bye. Anything else I can do for you? We have helped your doctor, and we have stopped your shooter, and while we were stopping him, we found some useful supplies. These supplies should be helpful. Please do not poison our <laughs> MCR allies. They're irradiated, but if you filter them with Radex, they'll be fine. We do have some spare Radex in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. And also, I found these other supplies. Thank you. This will be a tremendous help. Is there anything else we can do to help you out? Because we live to serve. For money. The NCR is stretched thin as it is. I've put in requests at Camp Golf, Forlorn Hope, McCarran, but things are no better there. Maybe if their situations improve, they'd have men to spare. Or maybe they'd listen to someone with a reputation for helping the NCR. We have been going around helping literally everybody. Yes, I think this might be the final one. Okay, but make it quick. I'm very busy here. Uh, this field trip is going to take as long as it needs to take, Captain Giles, okay? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Good luck. Ah! 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 <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Fire does nothing to me. Uh, where are we going first? Forlorn Hope. Okay. Welcome back to Camp Forlorn Hope. Just Man, I never thought I'd have to come to this turd pile again. Just a little less forlorn. What do you want? I'm busy. Sorry, we're going to have to go over your head. we got more important things to take care of. Yeah. Go be useful. I won't. <laughs> Never. Ah! Kill him! Uh, I guess he served his time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess the punishment for murder is just two weeks inside of the jail. <laughs> I didn't expect someone as famous as you to be here. Captain Giles of Bitter Springs needs some reinforcements. Can you spare any? The Legion has me worried here, but I think I can spare some soldiers. Consider your request granted. Woo! Goodbye. Hey. Looks like this place got a couple of new recruits. Hello. You live in McCarran. How did you get here? Motherfucker, he walked. <laughs> uh, no, God, God, the formation doesn't work that way. Guys, no, I'm in charge of the formation. No, I am. I'm leaving. You guys are dumb. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Poindexter, you suck. Hey, Sergeant McCready. Hot damn, look who it is. Uh, Captain Giles of Bitter Springs needs some reinforcements, and I'm sure you can spare some. After what you did getting my misfits whipped into shape? Yeah, I could spare a couple boys for Bitter Springs. I'll issue the dispatch orders. He's actually gonna do the paperwork. Yeah, whatever. Or maybe he won't. <laughs> He's not doing any paperwork. Ah, <laughs> uh, Cat McCarran, welcome back. It feels like it's been a whole week or so. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've been here. Um, Colonel Sue's corpse? Captain Giles at Bitter Springs needs some reinforcements. You... Think you can spare any? Silence is consent! Cool, thanks! Captain Giles! Anything else I can do for you? Are things going better now? Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. Here, take this. I hope you put it to good use. Two cans of pork and beans! Oh, it's a real party now! I shouldn't be too hard on it. That's probably literally all I have. <laughs> Man, doing inventory was definitely my favorite part of the military. Oh boy, so much fun.
Watch out! No, you just broke your legs instead. It's okay, everybody. The kneecaps are shattered. Oh, thank God there's a wheelchair here. 